2018 has been amazing for technologies. There are so many technologies which came up and then there were some technologies which kept evolving. In the last year video as well, we have talked about some technologies. But apart from that, in 2019, we'll be having some amazing technology which is coming up. So in this video, we'll talk about the top five technologies for 2019. And then we have some bonus technology as well. So let's get started. Welcome back everyone, my name is Devin Reddy and let's talk about top 5 technologies for 2019. So let's start with the fifth one. Now, if you talk about the gaming industry, it is evolving right from joystick to high-end games. And then we got, you know, Microsoft, Xbox doing a lot of experiments. And now we are moving towards some VR related games. There's so many games evolved for VR. And in fact, Facebook is also working with Oculus Rift to build AR games or VR games. Right. But not just VR, we also have a concept of AR. So which is uh, we have VR, which is virtual reality. And then we have AR, which is augmented reality. Uh, yes, this year has been good for VR, but not so much for a AR. What if I say in next year, we are also focusing on MR, which is mixed reality. Because there's something good about VR, there's something good about AR. So VR is basically, you know, enjoying yourself in the virtual world. Nothing is real, okay? Everything is virtual. You're playing some game. We have some virtual characters and everything. The entire scenario is virtual. You are not in real world at, at that point. On the other hand, we have AR. So AR is basically you are customizing the real world. Example, let's say you're talking to me and then we don't have anyone here. But then with the help of AR, I can represent something here on, on, right, on my right hand side, right? Uh, we can have some Pikachu here, which is roaming around. Uh, we can have a character of, let's say, uh, you know, Toy Story. So that's your AR. You're changing your real world with the help of virtual world technologies. That's AR. But we have some good, good things and bad things about both technologies. So what if I take good things from both and let's mix it up. And that's where mixed reality comes into picture. Now there are so many companies, they are working on it. So they are working on AR, VR and MR. Maybe you can just go to any shopping mall if you want to buy some uh, dress for you. If you want to buy some clothes, you have to go to trial room to change your, to, to try out those new clothes, right? What if you can just use a smart mirror instead of using a normal mirror, you can use a smart mirror to, you know, to just imagine yourself in that new clothes. That's something which a lot of uh, companies are trying out. Maybe, you know, if you want to construct a building, you can just see like, the exact way it will look like in the actual scenario not on a computer but in an actual real life that's what that's where we are heading now it will help it will help the industry for sure maybe it will help the uh, medical industry so if to teach new doctors it will also help education right you can have you know you can actually solve this online learning with the help of ar and vr so those things will be coming in 2019 for sure so if you are focusing on some new technologies and if you want to get hired quickly by working on new technologies i would say ar vr and mr will rock the fourth one in the last year's video, we have talked about cloud computing, we have talked about IoT. Now, what if I say cloud computing and IoT is not there in top five in this year? That doesn't mean IoT is going anywhere. IoT is still booming, it will be there for sure. If, if I go with top six, IoT will be there in the list for sure. But then just for customization, I have removed IoT from the list. It is there in the honorable mentions, right? But the only problem with IoT and cloud computing is, you know, a lot of devices in future will be connected on internet, right? So your mobile phone, your smart gadgets, your variable devices, uh, your TV, your fridge, everything will be connected on internet. So that's your internet of things. The only problem is if these devices want to communicate, if they want to process something, they have to connect with the cloud servers, right? So there will be cloud servers and you will be connecting all these devices with your cloud servers. But that's where the problem starts, you know, because let's say your cloud server is, is somewhere very far. Okay, let's say uh, you your devices is in one place and then uh, let's say in India and then all your cloud servers are in some other place, let's say Dubai. Now there is a problem of latency, right? So if two devices want to communicate, there will be a latency gap. We don't want that. We don't want latency, right? Otherwise, you will not enjoy those experience. Example, if I want to talk to my uh, mobile phone, I want to talk to a TV, it should be very smooth. And that's where instead of going for cloud computing, of course, it will be there, which with some in remote, some in some remote places will be having edge computing. Now, what it will be edge? So let's say we have IoT devices here and they want to communicate, they want to process some, some information. They can directly communicate with the help of local server or local devices. So you'll be having some local device, let's say near to the devices, near, near to IoT devices or somewhere not very far, but then somewhere nearby. 
and that device will process the urgent things you know the, the things which are not where you don't require a lot of latency right where you can reduce the latency and that's where edge computing comes into picture again you can refer to edge computing just go to google and search for edge computing it will give you a huge uh, uh, stuff in fact what if, what if i say i heard this concept a few months before so it was something new for me as well and i got excited because i'm not into iot domain so I, I don't learn about IoT much. I don't read about IoT much. That's why ed edge computing was away from me. But then it's, also, it's awesome. Now, when I say edge computing, it will not be replacing cloud computing, okay? Cloud computing will be still be there. The only thing is, all the IoT devices will be communicating with the, to the edge computing and then edge will be communicating to the cloud servers, okay? So all the permanent data will be stored on cloud. All the, all the processing which, which require huge power will be done on cloud. But to solve the latency, we'll be using edge computing there. So fourth on my list is edge computing. The third one on my list is, think about this, you know, we have, the world is moving very fast, right? We have blockchain now, we have so many data to process, we have uh, AI. To process all this data, we need huge computer, right? We need huge power in your CPUs. And that's where we got saturation now. Of course, we have huge amount of uh, power. We got high-end CPUs on server level as well. But still, still we are facing that issue. We are not able to solve the problem with processing powers. And that's where, from last 20 years, scientists are doing some research on, on a concept known as quantum computer. Now, quantum computing is there from a long time. Okay, the concept is there from a long time. A lot of scientists, they are working on it, but they were doing this in a scientific perspective. They were doing it for science. But the, from last few years, you know, there are a lot of companies like IBM, Google, they are working very hard to actually make it work. They started implementing it. There are some issues with quantum computing. You know, we have the concept of uh, qubits uh, because in binary format, we have zero and one, right? In quantum computing, we can have zero and we have one, plus we also have a state which can be zero or one at the same time. So it's a superposition of the values and that's where problem starts, right? You have to first solve that issue. You know, should we go for zero or one here? The second issue is about the heat. You know, you can't simply use a quantum machines at, in a, in, at, at, at open place. You, your AC will not be enough. You need a, a refrigerator to cool your, your quantum CPUs. That's the issue we are facing. So of course, quantum computer will take some time for home use, but then you can use it for server purpose. Maybe for cloud use. In fact, IBM is very, working very hard to make quantum machines online, right? So they are working it hard. In fact, they have also released some quantum bits to work on cloud. So you can try it out. I'm not, I have not tried it yet, but I've read the article. Uh, so that's something which will be coming in future. Of course, we need that, okay? This power which we have nowadays is not enough. So we need a quantum speed. Okay, so that's something will be booming. So in, in fact, I, if I got chance, apart from the, my work, I would surely work hard to learn quantum machines because that's the future. You can't just run away from the future, right? Uh, so those days are gone for zero and one. We also have zero, one, and then zero and one. So this zero and one, you know, the mixture superposition will be zero minus one or zero plus one. It can be any state. And that's where you have to be, you know, make it stable. You have to make it, you have to guess the value. So that's what make quantum computing difficult. But it will be future it will be future for sure so top th third on my list is quantum computing now you might be wondering what is top two and till this point you might have guessed it right everyone is talking about this top two technologies let's start with the second one and you can guess it right it's blockchain in fact from last year I'm, I'm, from last year i'm talking about blockchain you know i started making some videos but the only problem is i got busy with other, other projects and it takes time for me to make blockchain videos because it's new to me as well uh, so yes blockchain videos will be coming for sure but why blockchain got so famous from a long time, in fact, to get, the, to, to get more idea about blockchain, you can watch my videos, the basic videos. But the thing is, the industry, the data which you have online, they are mutable, right? We don't, we want some data which is immutable. We don't want to depend upon one central server to handle our data. We want to handle our data by ourselves. We also want to go towards decentralized application where company will not hold our data. Our data will be handled by us itself. If you want to sell your data, you can do that. That's the power which blockchain gives you. And then on the, on, the, on the other hand, we also have cryptocurrency, right? So the cryptocurrency technology works on blockchain. Yes, this year there are, there are so many companies, they started working on blockchain, they started building their own uh, technology on top of blockchain. 
right? The next year will be the age or the year of implementation. There will be technologies based on blockchain which you will be using as a consumer. It's not very far, okay? So if you want to upgrade yourself to something new, blockchain is a thing. Now you can guess it, the top one. Of course, the top one is AI. Uh, AI will top the technology for the next five years. So in fact, I'm doing this from last three years now. The first year as well it was uh, AI. This last year, I mean, second year was AI. This year also AI. And now in future as well, top language or top technology will be AI. Now, when you say AI, we are more talking about machine learning here because a subset of AI, which is actually implemented nowadays, right? So all the devices in future will be smart. In fact, you know, we are also focusing, we are also heading towards the combination of all these technologies, machine learning, uh, blockchain, big data, everything will be coming together to build one, to work as one technology. But then machine learning is handling everything. You know, we have smart ACs, we have smart cars, you know, driverless cars. Uh, we have uh, Google Home, we have Alexa. Everything is based on AI and machine learning. It is changing the lives of people for sure. So next year as well, you can see a lot of stuff which will be based on machine learning. So if you want to upgrade yourself, you can go for machine learning as well. But there's only one trick, okay? Every technology has some prerequisites. Uh, in fact, we had a video on uh, what are the prerequisites for machine learning, but prerequisite for uh, blockchain. You can just check it out in the description. I will try to put the link there. But then if you feel, you know, if you fulfill that prerequisite, you can surely go for the machine learning. But now question arises, I have not mentioned some technologies which I mentioned last year, right? I know you're a big fan of uh, IoT, you're a big fan of cloud computing, and it, it is not there in the list. As I mentioned, if I go for top six, I would have put IoT there as well. Because see, I cannot remove anyone, right? I cannot remove edge computing because it is changing the life. Uh, it is changing the way you work with IoT devices. You can't change quantum computing because IBM, Google, they have got breakthrough, right? So next year they will be implementing it, or maybe next year on uh, 2020, they will be implementing for sure. So it's time for some honorable mentions. Of course, apart from this uh, five technologies, we have some technologies which you have to also observe. The first one is cloud computing. As I mentioned, it's not new. You know, cloud computing is very famous everywhere. A lot of companies, they are moving their servers to cloud. Like we have a concept of microservices. In fact, big companies, they are moving towards cloud now. Maybe their own private cloud or public cloud. But cloud computing is something which you can think about. The second one is RPA, which is Robot Process Automation. Now, I don't know if you have heard about this concept before, but there are a lot of tasks in the industry which is very repetitive, okay, which is very boring. You can automate those tasks with the help of software, with the help of, of course, machine learning. Now, RPA is changing a lot of things in the industry. Uh, the things which have done by humans will be done by computers now. Of course, those things which are creative or which needs logical thinking may not be able to replace by RPA, but the repetitive ta tasks are, repeat, are replaced by RPA for sure. Third honorable mention is big data. Of course, you might be missing that in the list, right? So it is big data or data science because, so big data is there from a long time, right? So from last few years, we are working with big data. So nothing new there. And the fourth one, which is very important, which I forgot to mention in all my top technologies, which is cybersecurity. It's important, right? We are, we are moving everything to the internet, right? We are moving data on the internet. We are moving computing on the internet. So of course it has to be secure, right? Because we have so many hackers who are attacking these servers. We have to make it secure. And that's where we have cybersecurity. Uh, so yes, we so in no, so we can go for top nine now, right? We have mentioned nine technologies, but then the top five is changing the world. The bottom four is there and will be there in future as well. So that's it from top five. If, let me know your top five in the comment section. I know you will be disagreeing with some of the concepts there, some of the technologies, maybe the ranking which I've given, but that's my ranking. That's how I see the world. That's my research which I've done from last few months. In fact, for last from last few years now. So yeah, that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos because there will be a lot of amazing uh, videos will be coming in future. So that's it. Bye-bye.